Yo, what's going on guys, many here and welcome back to Sunday League with Under The Radar FC. Today we have the semi-final of the Plumstead Challenge Cup against Borden Sports. In our last cup match against these guys, uh, we went to penalties and uh, it was just about us that scraped through. Moving on though, the lineup for today is like this. In goal we have John. At right back is Tops, centre backs Tolu and Reggie, left back Bradley, a midfield three of Eric Eze and Marcel, right wing is Sam, on the left is Femi, and striker Thomas. On the bench we have Drew and Toby. Honestly, another great day for another great final. It leads up to a great final. But we have to make sure that we do the job here. We do the business here. We slap. I, I really, really have a. I'm really vexed because these lot have talk against us because they've joined with us once. They've they've done they've challenged us once. Can we bop them off the park today? Honestly, our I always say our first ten minutes has to be our strongest ten minutes. We have to come out there ready to flip and go. We have to. We can't start slow, especially in a semi final. We said at the beginning of the season we want everything. One got taken from us. Can we take everything else? Will we take everything else? So make sure we go out there and we work hard for each other. Uh, going back to the jam game, we worked hard for each other to the last minute, to the dying breath of the game. Can we make sure we did it today? But can we, this game, can we finish it early? First 20 minutes, can we finish it? Finish it, finish it, finish it. Honestly, boys. This is the business end of the season. I don't know if you look around, but sometimes you're seeing faces come in and out of the squad. Those of you that have been waiting for your moment to get into the side and stuff like that, keep that shirt. There's people missing, there's people letting us down on a weekly basis. But this is the business end. We want to win everything that we possibly can. You know, this is the end where people go, ah, will UTR do what they did last season? Will UTR do it again? Let's show them that we'll do it again. Yes, faces are changing. Yes, the, cha the squad is rotating, but we can deal with that. We're good enough to deal with that. You guys know what these guys are going to be like. They're going to be physical. They're going to get into the refs here. They're going to foul you. But as long as we play our game, keep it simple, <coughs> and go from there, I'm sure we'll get the win. I don't have to say, I don't want to sound like a broken record, but you don't know what we expect of you. Ruthlessness, clinical finishing. This, our decision making has to be better this week. It has to be better this week. And that, that doesn't only start from, that doesn't start from my front three, that starts from my back line as well, okay? Every single one of you are leaders on that pitch. Remember that, please remember that, okay, Coles? Uh, uh, boys, I'll just keep it simple. Some of us are not enjoying football, but it's days like this where we enjoy it. We're with our friends, we're with our boys, people that we look up to, people who we've grown up with. Today's about enjoying it. If we can't enjoy it here, we can't enjoy it anywhere else. The last 20 minutes, let's say, against Jam, we started enjoying football. It felt good to score. It felt good for Thomas to run, let's say, 100 yards away from the pitch and everyone chase him. It felt good when we scored. I finally realised, I deeped it. I did some soul searching. I know why people don't like us. Why are they always betting on the other team to beat us? Why? It's because they put all their energy for us to lose. And have we lost? Ooh. We ain't lost. We ain't lost. Finish. These lot try to do anything from us. Take away uh -huh. a cup final from us. Did we lose the next game? No. Nope. Nope. They try to take the league away from us saying, you have to play this game. Did we lose? No. Nope. Nope. Exactly. Nope. So today, they're going to try and beat us, but we're going to lose. No. Nope. Nope. That only starts if we're strong for the first 10 up until the first, the last, let's say, 95 plus minutes. We're not going into extra time. This is a we got a final Wednesday, we have to mean it today, boys. Yeah. No, 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 let them hear us. One, two, three, you see that? You see that? One, two, three, you see that? I feel sorry for poor Sam, just taking all the saliva. Yeah. Golden Sports are getting ready for the game there in their checkered outfit over there. As I said, last time we played them in the cup, it went to penalties. We're hoping that is not the case today. Bolden Sports will get the game underway. The referee's blown his whistle. We're ready for the semi final. Let's see what it holds. It's bouncing across the pitch. Tolu's going to be first to it. Does well to get his body across the man as well. Uh, looks for a pass in behind for Sam to chase. He's uh, past the, the Bolden defender. Still has to beat him again as he's recovered. Tries to play it across. To hit the shins of the defender. Great little turn from Eze there. Puts it back into a decent area. No UTR shirts around to capitalise. It's over on this uh, near side. Thomas picks up the ball. That was a nice touch initially and the great footwork to get away from the defender. He's lost his footing in the end and we get a free kick for it. 
nice play. They've just uh, played it into the four. He's got too much time to set himself and pick a pass out wide to Ryan Dolby, who's going to bring it down. That's a great touch. He's up against Brad. Can he find room to do anything? Takes it onto that left foot, puts the ball into the box, and this man's free in the middle. Oh, my gosh. Oh, that is terrible from us defensively to let him in behind. But you'd think he'd put that away, and it's quite unfortunate. As they go inside their half, looks out to the left. Femi's making a run in behind the defender. Can he get there first? He does. He goes to ground and the defender's not happy with it. There's never a penalty. And uh, yeah, they're expressing their frustrations there at Femi going to ground so easily. It's been thumped forward. First two, it's going to be Tolu. Gets his head to it. Comes down here to Sam. That's a good touch. Eric leaves it. Great flick round the corner from Thomas. And Femi might be through on goal here. Femi is. And he slotted it past the goalkeeper. That's a brilliant goal. Uh, Tolu with the header into Sammy, controlled it nicely. Eric did well to leave it. And uh, Thomas with the flick after Sam's pass, straight into Femi's path. Let's see it again. Brought down nicely from Sam. Uh, he plays it to Thomas. Oh, that's a brilliant flick around the corner. The weight of it, everything. And Femi's done well to control it instantly and place it past the goalkeeper. Lovely stuff. One nil down Borden, but they find themselves just on the edge of our box. He looks to be cornered, this guy. He's made a way through though, and he's also drawn the foul. Fours across to take that free kick, puts it into a decent area, and the header is poor. Borden looking to get into play with the throne on this touchline. It's uh, in there, it's flicked on by Borden's shirt, past Marcel. Tolu steps in and puts the ball forward here. That Femi looks like he's going to chase. The defender looks like he should get there first, but he's made a mistake. Uh, Femi has flicked it over the goalkeeper's head and controlled it into the net as well. And he looks on fire so far. That's a huge error at the back for Borden. And they'll be kicking themselves for that. Uh, Tolu did well to clear the first ball after the throw in. Uh, gets there, steps in. And uh, literally, Femi doesn't look like anything should be happening here, but this is the reason why you press close down and capitalize on opportunities like this. That's brilliant from Femi. Well done. He's looking very sharp. Uh, they've just tried to clear it away from their box. It's going to come only as far as tops. Oh, he sent him. Oh, no. He's turned from Prime Henri to Prime Bambi there. Still, though, he sent me. Oh, this big man's trying to control it. Tries to bring it down with his thigh. Collision between Marcel and Femi there. Uh, getting in each other's way. Marcel makes the block this time though. Comes here to Thomas. He's going to flick it around the corner for Eze. He tries to play Sam through. Sam was offside anyway. The ball's off on the run. So is the four. And so is Tops. He tries to take it down the line. Looks to find a pass to Sam. It's cut out by the Borden defender. Can Tops still get the ball here? Oh, it's hit his hand. I think they're going to get a free kick for it as well. Over 20 minutes have been played. It's Sam on the ball. Takes it over to his right foot. Tries to take a shot. And it's just going to trickle to the goalkeeper. Oh, meanwhile, one of their players has gone down. I think it looks like a hamstring issue. This is the thing with Sundays. Most people that play Sundays don't play much football. And when you don't play much football and you step on a football pitch, you are bound to hurt yourselves. It happens to people on the other side. It happens to us as well. Borden with the long throw, they've used it against us plenty of times before. Marcel does well to get the first ball, comes down here to the three, looking to get back into a dangerous area. He's uh, jumping with Reggie there, play there. Oh my gosh, at the back post. Again, it's the same guy. And he's missed another big chance. But in the meantime, it looks like Reggie has a cut to deal with from the challenge from that fellow that's just walked off the uh, screen there. Let's see it. Um, Three gets it back into the box. Oh, I think it's just an arm or an elbow that's caught Reggie and cut him. And he's fuming about it. You can see that there. I would be fuming too. Now he's going to have to have one of those Nelly plasters. The show goes on though. It's Ryan Dolby on the ball in our box, trying to show a bag of tricks to Brad. Uh, gets a ball across the box with the left foot and the header, yet again, can't be directed goalwards. We've got a throw in. Uh, Tops is going to take that one uh, down the line here. Uh, Thomas looking to show his strength up against the ball. The man uh, does well initially. He's gone to ground. Uh, we've kept it alive though. Thomas into Eric. Eric across the box to Sam. Sam takes it. Oh, with his left foot. And it's a good finish. He's tucked that away. The first touch to let roll, uh, roll across his body. And the second one, a tidy finish uh, to get past the goalkeeper. And to be fair, it's actually not a goalkeeper in goal. It's an outfield player for them. But still, I'll take nothing away from the finish. He's uh, placed it nicely. Good from Thomas and Eric there. 
Uh, takes a touch to open up his body and the finish is nice. He takes it quite quickly as well. So then 3-0, that looks like it could be game done. Baldwin looked very, very dejected. Oh, a John seems to be going for goal. And it's probably one of the closer attempts I've seen from a goalkeeper. Not bad. A free kick for Baldwin, just on the edge of our box. And oh my goodness, it's way into the distance. Just under five minutes until half time. Again with the long throw from Baldwin. Flicked on by the first man, flicked on by the second man. And it's poked in by the third man. He's missed two big chances before. He's not missed that one. It's just rolled into the net and we sh we've, we've fallen to sleep there. We should be defending that way, way better. So thrown into the box. They win the first ball, which is unchallenged. Second ball, unchallenged. And the third one, yet again, unchallenged. We've gone to sleep there. And that's the problem sometimes when you have a big lead. Over on the far side, it's Dolby once again. Another one of those players that you can know what he's going to do, but he does it so quickly, you haven't got a chance sometimes. Thomas is off to chase the ball. The whistle's gone for half time and we go into the break without the clean sheet. It's 3-1 and it's given them a way back into the game. What we're doing is playing their game again. It's going long ball, they win it in air, we win it in air. Every single time it's, a, it's, it's repetitive boys. And it's boring to watch. It's very boring to watch. And it must be boring to play in. You know, like, honestly, what we now need to do is get the ball on the ground. I know it's a shit bitch, but it's, it's like we don't even want to try. Like, come on. That goal, I'll be honest, that is fucking terrible to concede. It's terrible. And what's that come from? Sloppiness. Sloppiness. We have to be stronger defensively, boys. They've, got, they've had like four, four or five headers in there. And that doesn't come, I'm not even blaming our defence. That comes from people being lazy with their press. Yeah. Lazy in the midfield. Mark, pressing, pressing by himself. We have to be f***ing better than this, bro. But I think like the fact that you guys have identified that already, we need to get on that four quicker. Because he's spraying those passes out and it's given, say for example, Brad defending that he don't need to do if we just get on that man quicker. But I also think, just, just watching this, I don't think that we've had a bad half or something. I think it's just typical of us because we're so comfortable at this level, we start to sort of stoop down to it and almost play into them. They're not good enough not to get bopped off. Our midfielders should come off with at least 100 touches of the ball each. Build it up. That first goal is exactly what we need to do. That first goal from Sam picking it up into Thomas round the corner into Fem. We don't have to go in behind just because it's worked once or twice to get our goal. We can keep it on the ground and play. We have ball players on the pitch. We should have a lot more ball. Every time it's bouncing, that's when they want to be in the game because it's 50-50s. They're jumping in and clattering our, our strikers, our midfielders. Let's see if we can slow it down a bit and take control of the game. Yeah, we should have been three nil down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But next goal, next goal. If you score the next goal, you crush, you, you crush their hearts. Yeah. Yeah. You break we their hearts. Nil, we won't three nil up. This strike was our game over. Yeah. He's not don't want to be he here. Still thinks it's, it's not. It's not a keeper, by the way, so we can spray shots. I don't know if you lot noticed. That's yeah, not a proper keeper. Like One change at half time. Toby's going to go to right back. Uh, Brad's going to go centre back, and uh, we're going to have tops at left back. Here is Topsa bringing the ball up the pitch for UTR. He's got Femi to his left. Femi has Eric in field, decides to go to Thomas's feet. That's great control there uh, from Thomas. Great feet as well to get past another man. Can he drive towards the box and make something special happen? He's kite back as well, beating him again. Uh, still got Femi with him. Uh, Top supporting as well. Can Tops get round Femi? He's going to do that just there. Go for the one two, and uh, it's cut out well uh, by the number four. Femi, who's on a hat trick in case you forgot. Step overs inside the box into Sam. Uh, he tries to go for a shot, comes back to Femi, and uh, he's missed a step. Ball and corner. This one is flashed across goal. And who's that on the line? Is that Tobes that's cleared it? Has it gone out for a corner or a goal kick? I think it's gone all the way through. They've got a bit more defending to do. It's cleared by the big ball guy at the back. No nonsense centre back. And wait, what is that guy doing? He's just run on to get the ball from the other pitch. Like, what? No fair, to be honest. I rate it. Like, what? Back again with the long throw. Normally it's us uh, banging this out. It's flicked onto the back post and the free header. It's a free header for Billy Dolby at the back post. Oh my goodness. It's game on for real in this semi-final. We cannot bottle it now, surely. That's another goal, another throw. 
another goal. This is all they need to do for the rest of the game. Oh, wow. Yet again, poor defensively on the set pieces from UTI. It's Toby down the line, Sam, brilliant control. He's got Eric to his left, Thomas to his left as well. Decides to go for the shot, and I'm sorry to say that is the wrong decision. And in situations like this, where we've just conceded two goals. We have to be smarter. Their goalkeeper's got it in his hands. Uh, it's a long kick going up the pitch, and he's trying to do what John did. Oh my gosh, that almost went in. I know a lot of goalkeepers, especially at Sunday League level, that would concede that. It's Eric Cushnian, John's pass into Marcel, but he's turned into trouble. Ryan Dolby picks up the ball and plays it out to the three on the far side. And this is a tale of two halves right now. Like the first half, we were all over them, scored some good goals. They did have chances though. And I guess these are the warning signs just coming through in fruition. Oh my goodness, is that 3-3? Three, three? As the 10 puts it into the back of the net, no, the linesman's flag is up and we've escaped. We have to get our heads on. Just over the hour, hour mark, we look all over the place, but the referee's going across to talk to the linesman. I'm not sure what the offside uh, uh, rule is at the moment, but I'm pretty sure the intention was always to find the 10, despite it taking a deflection of, off of Marcel. I feel like that should be an offside. Let me know. I know a lot of referees watch Sunday League, uh, so let me know down in the comment section below. But the referee's given the goal. Would you give the goal? Let me know down in the comment section below. Is that offside or is it a perfectly fine goal? Uh, as the 10, to be fair, controls it nicely and feeds it past John. And that is 3-3. The referee has given the goal and we've bottled a 3-0 lead. We can't believe it. Marcel's going to make his way off the pitch. Uh, Drew's going to come on into his place. We need another goal. We do not want this to go to penalties. It's a long ball uh, played forward by Borden. Bradley gets his head to it first. Toby, can he win the second ball? He's uh, shoved the three to the ground. The referee points to the spot. And that, I'm afraid, is a penalty. We could have fully bottled this game. Toby can't believe it. But I'm sorry, bro. That is a penalty. Uh, he's made the referee's mind up for him. The shove in the back. Although it is slight, it's a shove in the back. And uh, it's a penalty to Borden. A chance to take the lead. 14 with the chance to give Borden the lead. And John saves it down to his right. It stays at 3-3. We have to get our heads on now. John has given us a lifeline. How many more warnings do we need till we realise we are in for a game? John guesses the right way and saves it down to his right. The ball comes into Drew. He's taking it nicely on his chest. Up against uh, Ryan there. And, uh, ooh, is that a little stamp? Is that a little stamp? We're, we're, we're claiming it is. You can see Top's doing the action. Drew's gone to the ground. And it's going to be a yellow card for Dolby. Not long after that, they have a free kick. Uh, it's played towards the back post, headed across. Uh, John catches that one calmly. Borden with it in the middle. Uh, Eric with the challenge, uh, plays it into Thomas. Thomas flicks it onto Sam. Sam driving into the box now. Can he get his shot off? Tries to poke it past the goalkeeper. It's a good bit of defending from Borden. And Drew's followed through there, trying to get the follow up. And that's definitely, definitely a foul. He's clean through the guy. I think he was going for the ball anyway, but he's totally missed it, as you can see. And uh, surely he's going to make his way into the book there. Drew's not far off a yellow card these days. I think it's that centre mid roll that we're putting him in. Uh, he's totally cleaned the man there. Eric on the ball. He's got Thomas and Toby to his left. Toby's now playing left wing. We've got Sam driving through the middle here. He's made his way into the box. Sam cuts it back, puts the defender on the floor, goes for a right footed shot and it's just past the post. It's 3-3 still. And we've come close there, but not close enough. It's picked up uh, yet again by Eric. He's uh, got Thomas to his left and Thomas on the touchline uh, looking to burst towards the box. He's going to beat the player for pace and strength. Gets across, left foot shot and the goalkeeper gets it on the second chance of asking. Uh-oh, another long throw from Borden. Launched into the box. Two players jump in there uh, with Tolu and it'll go behind. I still can't believe what I'm seeing. Do you know what the pivotal moment in this game was? When they scored just before half time. It's Femi now breaking here with Eric. We've got Sam and uh, Thomas making their way to the box as well. He returns the ball to Femi. And the goalkeepers come rushing out. Uh, it seems to have missed the ball. We're claiming for a penalty. You can see the protest from the UTR men there. And uh, what do you guys think? Penalty or not? Uh, Eric there with the ball. Femi's missed the ball, but the goalkeeper's missed it too. And I think he's connected with Femi. I will vote penalty, even though it might be a biased decision. Uh, but the referee points to the spot and they are fuming from it. They are they are not happy at all. And you know what? Too much is going to be said. And uh, Billy Dolby is going to find himself with a red card. So they're down to 10 and we have an opportunity to take the lead late in the game. Here we have it then. Femi on a hat-trick with the seven on his back, steps up to take it right-footed. Oh, he's missed, he's missed and it's cleared away. Oh my goodness, you thought that was the story. It would have been so nice to have a hat-trick there. But he stepped up and I, I'm not a fan of the whole slow run up and you know, like the stutter and stuff. Put your foot for it, Femi. 
Ah, that's a huge opportunity to take the win and avoid penalties. So much additional time. Toby's going to make his way off the pitch. We're thinking of penalties now. Reggie's been one of our most prolific penalty scorers, especially in the shootouts. He's won us a few this season already. It's out here with Bradley. We're into surely the last minute of the game. It's uh, into Femi. Uh, he plays it to Eric. Eric knocks it around the corner to Thomas. Thomas with the reverse pass back to Eric. Driving into the box. Eric surely. Oh, it's a good save from the keeper. Or is it a bad shot from Eric? But that could have been the winner right there and then. And uh, it's going to be... Back into the box here. Oh, that is it. Oh, the referee blows his whistle. How have we found ourselves in the situation where we are at a penalty shootout after being 3-0 up? I don't know. Here we are. Penalty shootout then. We didn't need to be here, but it is, it is what it is at the end of the day. Borden stepping up first. No look. Penalty from the big defender. And uh, he did it last time and hit the crossbar. This time he scores. Stepping up for us is Captain Tolu. He's going to get the ball off the referee. Can he make it count? Oh, just before, we've got an adjustment of the net because it's uh, gone off the pin there. Uh, but yeah, Bolden 1-0 up. Tolu with the opportunity to level it and keep us in the game. Does it. A tidy little placement there from Tolu. And it's 1-1. I can't see his shirt number, but he goes to take it right-footed and John guesses yet again the right way. He's starting to get a knack for saving these penalties. Could be useful in the future for us, the way we're playing. Another left footer for UTR. Sam steps up, goes the right way, the goalkeeper, but he can't stop it. That's 2-1 on pens. It's the skipper for Borden, the man that scored the equalising goal, and he places it. John can't even move there. Eric, he's not too bad at penalties, and we need it to keep the advantage in the shootout. Steps up, right footed, little hop, and he's placed it into that same corner. Everyone's gone the same way for UTR so far. It's time for the goalkeeper, who's an outfield player. Let's see if he takes it like one. He does, same corner, and it's uh, still game on. Reggie, Mr. Penalty Shootout, doesn't disappoint. Into the roof of the net, looking so casual. The 14 who missed his pen in the game, doesn't miss the penalty in the shootout. He's gone that way as well. Eze, with the opportunity to spare our blushes and put us through to the final. Oh, oh my gosh. That is so risky, but in the end, UTR win the shootout. I have to say, you can see by the muted celebrations, we know it was not good enough to have such a lead and to leave it like that is so dangerous. And uh, today we have escaped and gotten away with it, but we might not on another day. Um, boys, I don't think I need to tell you, but you know we got let off the hook there. And I think today's a reminder of what it is to be in the UTR shirt because yes, we were free no up and we started to go against ourselves, but when we go against ourselves, they go against us even more. Because they go, hang on, they could lose this here penalty decisions and little things going their way that's what it's going to be like but we can't allow that to happen again that was bad mm -hmm. you know to go three no up we have to that's when we need to be smarter and be like okay it's three one we need to manage the game a little bit different three two that's when we really need to switch on and be like yes we need to do things differently to make sure they're not putting pressure on us if you need to boot out there you need to boot out there we can't invite pressure on ourselves and try and keep the ball at that point that's the worst time to do it but in the end we've grafted it out but we're not going to get away with that all the time and that uh, first half was a warning of the second half and we didn't take the warning we got punished for it and we almost lost the game so we can't do that going forward that was embarrassing if i'm being honest and i know that you guys maybe are trying to make it for the content or whatever but no that's that's not aye, good aye, no yeah, let me say this now aye, aye, for the heart. on that content yeah man. Game. I don't give, I don't care about YouTube. I don't care about anything. What I care about is how good we play on the day. And today we were off, we were off our mark. Our first 30 minutes, I'll give. Yes, cool. We played that. We played our game. After that, we clocked our rubbish layout and we dropped our standards completely. If that happens ever again, we lose games. Look how many chances they had in the first 20 minutes. And then Gan the other half. Look how many chances we had in the last 20 minutes. Take our chances. Be fucking ruthless. That's what it comes to. That's what. That's what's the, That's the difference between us and the and the best of the best. It's not good enough. I didn't even want to do this, but boys, come on, come on. Luckily, we have something to fucking smile about, cause we're in another final. Mm -hmm. Luckily, we have that. But on my mother's life, if this was a league game and we drew like that, I'm losing my shit at you lot. Cause that should never fucking happen. Sorry about my language. Sorry, Jay Zing, all of that. But, m boys. Seriously, 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 think about this. We've got a flipping cup final on Wednesday. We've got a cup final, we hit like that. We have to make sure on Wednesday, we're 10 times better than we were today. But, yeah, Wednesday final, Jam, I need you all, everyone, If you're not, even if you're in the squad or if you're not in the squad, I need you there. 
Um, and me flipping road rap jam over. Alright? On to, on to Wednesday, boys. Hey, hey, make sure, make sure you're eating well. But yeah, guys, that is it for another week of Sunday League. Uh, what do you think of the game? Let me know down in the comment section below. Uh, I like the back and forth. I think that makes it more entertaining for you guys especially. But I don't like the fact we bottled a 3-0 lead. If it's 1-0, 1-1, 2-1, 2-2, then I get it. But 3-0 to 3-3 is not good enough. And we have to be better, especially if we want to win the final. Anyway, that's enough from me. Leave a like on the video. Subscribe if you're new. And I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.